I've been asked to say a few words about Bahia Khanum and the book that I've just written with the title Prophet's Daughter. This is, has been a labor of love which took me some two years to, to write uh, on evenings and weekends, every free moment I could find. And the thing about, the thing that I learned about Bahir Khanum was the astounding contribution that she made to the development of the faith. We all know a little bit about her. Uh, the fact that she was exiled with Baha'u'llah and the family at the age of six, that she never returned to Iran, that she passed away at the age of 86. She, um, in listening to the comments that Peter made, I was struck by how Bahia Khanum exemplifies so many of the qualities that he was calling to our attention. She understood what was needed at different stages in the development of the faith, and she arose, she, she accepted change and moved forward and helped to take the Baha'i community with her into the next stage of development. Shoghi Effendi, in particular, praises her service at the time of the passing of Abdul Baha. And there was a period from the time of the passing of Abdul Baha when Shoghi Effendi, as the new young guardian, felt it necessary to really prepare himself to take on this heavy responsibility of the guardianship. And for extended periods of time, between 1922 and 1924, he left the Holy Land. And he left the running of the faith, both at home and abroad, to the members of the Holy Family under the headship of the greatest holy leaf. So she had this unique primary responsibility among the members of Abdul Baha's family. And she, were, she had this function of heading the faith for extended periods of time uh, for that three year period. At this time, she was really the link between the heroic age, the age associated with the manifestation of God, with Abdul Baha, and the formative age, with the beginning of the establishment of the uh, administrative order and the, the, the laying of the foundations for the spiritual assemblies. She focused the Baha'i community not only on the, the, the new successor to Abdul Baha, on the new guardian, Shoghi Effendi. But beyond that, the Baha'i community was going through a time of crisis and change because the style of leadership was also changing from, the, from an in, a charismatic individual, as Abdul Baha was, to this young man who was assisted by this growing body of spiritual assemblies. So not only was there a change in leadership, but also a change in style of leadership. And she oriented and focused the Baha'i community on this change. Through her letters, she wrote brilliant letters in which she educated the Baha'i community about the provisions of Abdul Baha's will and testament, about the, the importance of supporting Shoghi Effendi and of the necessity of electing spiritual assemblies. And if you, if you read her letters, you'll see she was a brilliant strategist. She was focused. She had a clear understanding of the faith, a clear understanding of what was needed. She was a um, strong, complex woman. 
And she accomplished all of these um, great contributions by rising above the kind of cultural constraints in which she grew up. She was an Eastern woman living in a household where um, women didn't have contact with men from the outside. And yet, Baha'u'llah himself, according to Shoghi Effendi, withdrew the veil of concealment from his daughter. And he really made her a public figure. In her adolescent years, Baha'u'llah gave her special missions while he was still in Baghdad. He sent her off to do things for the faith. It's not recorded what these missions were. At, uh, after the passing of, of Baha'u'llah, she was Abdul Baha's brilliant sister, his main support against the exploits of the covenant breakers. It was she who accompanied Abdul Baha in visiting the government officials in Akka. So progressively through her life, she assumed more and more of a public role. She transcended the limitations of her background, the unfamiliarity of, of um, interacting with Westerners, with interacting with men. And she accomplished just amazing things. She, one of the the um, uh, titles that Shoghi Effendi gave her is the archetype of the people of Baha, the, the model, like a role model. And not only of women, but of the people of Baha. So she's an inspiration, not only to women, but also to men because we are all together the people of Baha. This is just a foretaste. I hope you have a chance, some of you, to read the book when it becomes available. And I hope it engenders in your heart a great love for this outstanding heroine of the Baha'i faith, Bahia Kanum. <laughs>